What's up, lads? Josh here, and welcome back to a new video. And today I'm not feeling amazing, and uh, you know I actually did want to play with this team a bit more, but unfortunately for the you know the time that I've been given with this team, I wasn't able to play much with it at all. And the goal is going to be quite sloppy, and there's not going to be many of them, mainly because I'm not feeling too well today or yesterday, and I had to grind out this FIFA while I had a headache. And you know what FIFA's like? If it pisses you off, it you know it multiplies your headache. But if you guys are looking for the cheapest and easiest way to uh, to buy coins, do be sure to check link in description for UT coins for you. They're also selling. Microsoft points and PSN cards and also if you're looking for some cheap PC games check out the link in the description for G2A but apart from that let's get straight into this team and let's go on to the goalkeeper and uh, he's actually one of the most solid goalkeepers I've actually used in this team and of course uh, I've used him in my Turkish League team and like I said I went undefeated with that Turkish League team and I was almost undefeated with this team as well um, 80 diving, 82 handling, 80 kicking, 86, uh, 87 reflex, 63 speed and 80 positioning and he only costs 1400 coins he's probably going to cost like 600 coins now because I bought him in the first week. Um, but yeah, he's just a really solid goalkeeper for his price tag. Uh, on to the centre backs now. The first one that's gonna go into go gonna go into the team, sorry, is gonna be Kaya or Kaya. 74 pace, 81 defending and 80 physical, a really rock solid centre back for 500 coins. He's one of my favourite centre backs to use on this game so far. And uh, another one that matches him is once again another perfect centre back to uh, to link with him, and it is gonna be Akaminko, 80 pace, 73 defending and 78 physical, 2,500 coins. He's gonna cost you um, I think it might be a little bit cheaper now like 2,000 uh, or 1,800 pretty much uh, six foot tall you know these two defenders are just probably one of the best uh, center back pairings I've, I've actually used so far uh, definitely recommend trying it out for only two and a half K and it's absolutely incredible in my opinion um, but onto the right back now we're gonna go with a par or a, pa a pair I'm not sure uh, 90 pace 49 shots 62 passing 70 dribbling 67 defending and 75 physical got some insane bit of pace on him and apart from that he doesn't really do too much um, but he does track back and help I guess with that pace because you know he's, he's yeah he does actually he, well, he feels like he's got a good bit of strength on him as well with that 75 physical uh, 3000 coins not doing too much instead though uh, onto the left back, we're going to have Erkin, and he has got 82 pace, 77, uh, 72 shots, 77 passing, 78 dribbling, 73 def uh, defending, and 77 physical. Some pretty nice all round stats for pretty much a discard player, and uh, he links up nicely with Kaya. Onto the central defensive mids now, the first one that's going to pop into the team is going to be Felipe Melo, 76 pace, 71 shot, 76 passing, 75 dribbling, 80 defending, and 86 physical. One of my favourite central defensive mids to use on this game, and as you can see, there's 16 games played. I've uh, absolutely loved playing with him and I uh, can't wait to get him into another team because he's just a really incredible central defensive mid and he's got a really good bit of pace on him it feels a lot faster in game feels like 78 80 um, and as you can see there 16 games play one goal scored one assist and 2.5k very very cheap in my opinion uh, the next central defensive mid is going to be there for chemistry reasons and he is actually fairly decent but I don't think he feels 72 pace in game he feels like 65 64 maybe he does feel a lot slower in game after you know like the second half just because his stamina is completely down um, but 72 pace 65 defending and 83 physical um, he cost me 500 coins he's like I said there, he's, he's pretty much there for chemistry, but he's got some nice um, work rates for a central defensive mid. Now, onto the cams. The first one to go into the team is going to be Ronaldinho. I thought, you know, I wanted to try him out, but he didn't do too well because, you know, it's all about pace, I feel, this game is about, um, unless you're, like, the perfect skiller, which is this team is basically all about skilling, but um, I wasn't feeling amazing. I just wanted to get a few goals, and obviously I will probably keep it and try and get a few more better goals, um, but... You know, I don't know. There's not not much I can do about that now. Um, but 53 pace, 72 shot, 85 passing, 85 dribbling, and 61 physical. He feels quite weak on the ball as well. He seemed to get knocked off it, and with that pace stat, you know, no no pace, no strength, kind of sucks. But five star skill is, is is sort of the main reason I got him. But as you can see, three assists um, is not too bad, but no goals unfortunately. Uh, onto the next camp, we're going to have Diego, uh, not Diego Costa, uh, Douglas Costa, there it is. Uh, another five star skiller, of course. This is a skill hybrid. If you are good at skilling, you will do incredible with this team because it's got a great bit of pace on it. Uh, it's got a, f a fantastic defense on it, and you know, you'll know you absolutely tear defenses apart with the, the pace and, of course, the skill moves. But for me, I was kind of sucking at the skill moves, to be honest. But 85 pace, 73 shot, 78 passing, 84 dribbling, and 62 physical, 1600 coins, as you can see there. Once again, no goals on, no assists really not doing too much for me in this team mainly because of his work rates he seemed to sit too, you know too far back for a central attacking mid for me in my opinion uh, five star skill moves and three star weak foot on to the next cam and it is actually going to be a silver you've probably just seen him there and it is going to be Elton this year looks 
looks very, very different without his afro. 89 pace, 66 shots, 70, uh, 67 passing, 74 dribbling, 49 physical, 2 goals scored in 6 games, 10,000 coins he's going to cost you. 5, fa uh, five star scummers again, of course, 3 star weak foot, 5 foot 3 tall. A really incredibly small player on this game, so don't, you know, be booting it up and he expecting him to header because he didn't win one header in 6 games for me. Um, but onto the striker that will complete this team, and it is, of course, going to be when we can find him. It is going to be Mykon Liete. Unfortunately, losing his five star skimmers from the last game and previous FIFAs, he is now a four star skiller, but he is still absolutely a delight to use. Five, uh, five, once again, five foot six tall, you know, uh, quite a small um, central attacking mids uh, and striker, so you're not going to win at any headers at all. This is basically about skill moves and skill dribbling, etc., and using that pace to your advantage. Um, but two uh, 6,000 uh, 6, coins he's going to cost you, sorry. Uh, six games played, five goals scored, one assist, uh, four stats going three side weak foot. Not um, too bad for a player, um, but once you get through, you know, nobody's going to catch you with Elton, Liete, and Costa. They've just got far too much pace on them to be any defense. So if you guys are looking, you know, for a really good, cheap skill hybrid, definitely try this out and let me know what you thought of it in the comments. But apart from that, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, leave a like, ring, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and follow me on Twitter, Ashkaroni4. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.